Welcome to the R video tutorial on hypothesis tests on means. In this video tutorial, you learn how to do one sample, two sample, and a paired test on means. So let's get started. So the first thing we'd want to do is read in some data. So I'm going to come over here where I can read in some data. And I'm going to use read.table. If you're not familiar with how to read in data, if there's a video that you can watch on that to help you learn how to import data into R. So I'm using the file.choose uh, option. That way I can simply select out the file when my window pops up. My file is site1.csv. OK, that read in the data. So the first thing I want to do is there's several variables in this data set. The first one I want to do is check to see if the rain amount that is one of the variables, is greater than 5. So my alternative is mu is greater than 5. So when I set up my function that I'm going to use in R, which is t-test, I'm going to look at the rain variable. So I have x1 dollar sign rain. That's going to initialize or tell me to go to the rain variable. Mu equals 5 is the mu from your hypothesis. And the next statement is alternative. Now, in this case, it's greater than. So my alternative is greater than 5. That's why mu is equal to 5, and the alternative is listed as greater. So when I run this, you see over here, I get a lot of output. Now, I'm not interested in anything that has to do with the confidence interval. What I'm interested in is specifically the t value, the degrees of freedom, and the p value. And if you notice here that the t value is 4.50 degrees of freedom or 25, which is n minus 1, which means there must be 26 observations in this data set, which there are. And I get a p value that's very, very small. Uh, it's very small. And this is what I'm going to be interested in when I go to make a decision about whether or not mu is actually greater than 5. This p value is small enough that most people would say that it's significance, but you still need to relate it back to your uh, significance level or the probability of a type 1 error that you'd like to make. Now notice right below that it says the alternative hypothesis. It says the true mean is greater than 5. You always want to verify this, that it corresponds to the hypothesis that you actually wish to test. In our case, it is what we wanted to test. We wanted to see if mu was greater than 5. All right. So let's do one with less than, and that's what the next one does. And it's looking at the depth of a stream at a specific site. All right, I wanted to know whether or not the mean depth is less than 15. And notice that it says mu is equal to 15, and the alternative this time is less. So I submit this. And again, I'm interested in the second line and the third line. Notice the T is minus 5.2761. The degrees of freedom are 25, and the p-value is very, very small again. Okay, If you don't know how to read scientific notation, you should go back and, and learn how to read that. And notice it says, alternative hypothesis, true mean is less than 15. So one other type of test I might want to be able to do is a mean difference. So what I'm interested in is like a before and after. So what I've measured is the oxygen of the site before and after a rain event. So what I'm interested in is the change in dissolved oxygen. I want to know if it went up or not. So notice here in my next statement, I actually have this incorrect because I want to know if the mean difference is positive, whether it went up. And notice I have listed here two-sided. So what I need to do is go back and change that from two-sided to reflect what I actually want, which is greater than. So you need to be careful when you do these, not just to go with two-sided, which is actually the default in R. So there, now I fixed that. I've gone from an alternative of two-sided to an alternative of greater than and interested in greater than zero. And the reason I purposely did that is to get you to pay attention to what the default is in R. So if I were to do this, this is a paired test, the, meaning that the before and after measurements are on the same object. 
So in a before and after test, the observations are paired. That's why it says paired equals true at the end of my statement. And notice I have a T value that's negative 4.887 degrees of freedom of 25. And it says a P value of 1. It says the alternative hypothesis. The true difference in means is greater than 0. And in this case, I would not conclude that the true difference is greater than zero because the p-value is so large. Okay, it's very, very large. Another type of test I might want to do is a test on two independent means. So I have a population one, I have a population two. The populations are independent in a statistical sense or probabilistic sense, meaning that the probability that you would see a high value on a measurement in population one should have no influence on the probability you would see a high or low measurement uh, on the same item in population two. So in this case, what I do is I use the t-test again. And here I put my variables, abundance one and abundance two. Mu is equal to zero is what I'm interested in. And my alternative is a two-sided test. And notice there is no statement for paired. Okay, but this is the default in uh, R. So if I submit this, again, in this case, I get a T value that's negative 4.26, degrees of freedom of 43.279. And the reason you're getting this is it's using the Satterthwaite or Welch approximation to the degrees of freedom. Uh, if you don't know what that means, then you should go look it up. That's what the default is in R. Now, the p-value here, notice, is again very, very small, and you may or may not reject this depending on the significance level or the probability of type 1 error that you've chosen. Notice the alternative hypothesis is the true differences in mean is not equal to zero. That's what it's testing. Okay, It's testing that the true difference in means is not equal to zero. All right, so this has been the R video tutorial on hypothesis test on means. If you have any questions, please ask or watch the next video.